guys so we are here tonight i finally i feel like last week was just bananas um with people like losing electricity and with me i don't know just crazy stuff is happening like the screen was really itty bitty on the facebook page and you know we tried our first zoom and we did our best but there was a just craziness on that and then one night I went to like put up my light and the light broke I, I don't know it was just like it was a bananas week last week uh as far as um virtual stuff goes but I mean I think like that just happens right but we're here I have a new mic so that means that I can have my EC on and you guys can hear me my light is up I'm feeling good so I'm going to um, put in a playlist if you want to use the playlist. And I'm just going to check that we're on the right page. And then 6.15, we can get moving. Um, how are you guys feeling tonight? Hopefully everyone's feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like today was a little bit more slow than normal. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to pop this. Right here. Um, it's also gonna like try to share it to. Give me one more second. I wanna see if I can share it. Share it to a page? No, I can't. All right, I'll figure that out another time. <laughs> but. Um, we're ready to go. So as you can see, hey Sarah. Oh, I thought you said you couldn't do it. I'm glad you're here. Um, Sarah, actually do me a favor and text me when I'm over at my mat because I can't see the screen um, when I'm back by the mat and I'm going to use my new mic and I just want to, um, Um, I just want to, sorry, I was reading a comment. Um, I want to make sure that you guys can hear it with the new mic. So when I get over to my mat, just text me. Sorry, just be like, yeah, it's good. Or like, you got to fix it. Um, but let's move. How about that? So starting on your mat in whatever position feels comfortable to you. You go like that with mic. I'm going to be back here. Slide this back a little bit more. And Sarah, anytime you want to text me, just to say like whether or not you can actually hear me, you speak. Um, if you do have a playlist that you want to play, go ahead and hit that now, or you can listen to my playlist. As I've always said to you guys, I don't think you need Spotify to still play it. You should still be able to play it. It might scramble the songs a little bit, but like you should still be able to play it. Uh, so you can start your playlist now. And just take a deep inhale in through the nose and let the breath go. Shake out your hands a little bit and then allow your hands to come to your knees in whatever uh, position is comfortable to you. So if they, okay, awesome. Thank you, Sarah. Um, you can bring your hands to your knees. If your hands fell on your knees, palms facing up, just allow them to be palms up. If they fell, palms facing down, allow them to be palms down. Taking a deep inhale through the nose. The only problem with the mic now is that it's like really good and it picks up my music and I'm afraid now that something's gonna happen on the Facebook page that's gonna mute out my, my video, but I'll just have my music really low so hopefully Facebook can't hear what it is. <laughs> All right, so deep breath in through the nose and exhale the breath out. Deep inhale through the nose and exhale the breath out. And just allow the breath to take whatever form it needs to in your body. So maybe tonight you do want to breathe a little bit deeper. Go ahead and allow yourself to breathe deep. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you just want to let the breath, the breath ride the way it needs to ride. But whatever form your breath is taking tonight, see if you can follow it. So turning your focus inward and watch as the breath comes in 
follow it down into the belly, and follow it back out again. Just taking a couple moments before class to breathe, to settle in. Maybe you're rushing to this moment. Maybe you're working really hard and you just stepped away from your work. Or maybe the the heat, the, the crazy heat from today has you dragging a little bit. Whatever your situation was, you are here. Take a moment to be proud of yourself for showing up. Take a moment to be grateful to your willpower for bringing you here. And together we take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale the breath out. Hands come to Anjali Mudra, prayer position in front of the heart. Deep breath in here. And exhale it out. Hands come down to the knees. Eyes blink gently open. Inhale, the arms come up. Gaze comes up. Now lace your fingers, point your fingers up. Pull the arms back behind the ears if you can. Or in line with the ears, that's fine. But try to pull through. Starting to wake up the shoulders. And then release the hands down. Inhale, the arms come up, the gaze is up. Lace the fingers, point your fingers up, pull through. And exhale down. One more time, inhale, the arms up, gaze up. Lace the fingers, point your fingers up, pull through. And the hands come down, the gaze comes down. Bringing your hands onto your knees, taking a circle. So you're gonna bring your right shoulder down towards your right knee, circle it through over to the left, and then pull yourself back. So doing it one more time on the right, pull yourself back, and then switching sides. So circling to the left, down in front, to the right, and back. Circling to the left, in front, and back. Beautiful. Bringing your hands like more in front of your knees, pull yourself back. So you're like pulling the knees back, and then move all the way forward on the inhale, reach the chin up. And curl in, pull back, and move forward. Beautiful. Come to a flat, or a straight back, straight spine, I guess I should say. Arms are out, thumbs are up, thumbs are down, thumbs are up, down, up, down for five, Four, three, two, one. Keep the arms up, thumbs up, circles in for five, four, three, two, one. And back. One, five, four, three, two, one. Hold them up, but bring the arms out like you have doorknobs and turn to the, what is that? The left. For five, four, three, two, one. One and the opposite way. For five, four, three, two, one. Reach both arms up. Right arm comes back to pat your back. Take the left uh, hand to the right elbow and pull back. Inhale, breathe high. Lean over to the left. Back to center, reach the arms up. Left arm comes down, right to left elbow. Lean over to the right. Hands up and down. Take the right arm across, left arm up. Okay, now usually I know that we have that left arm pulling the right arm in. But I want you to take a second here. So that left hand is pulling the right arm back. Right arm is pushing against it. Like you're trying to like karate chop that arm. So you're creating a contraction of, I, I don't know, like the same thing we do when we're in pigeon, right? So this arm's moving in, this arm's moving back. For five, four, three, two, one. Release it down, reach the arms up. Left arm comes down, same thing. So the right arm pulls in, 
the left arm karate chops out for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Arms come down, come to your shoulder circles in for five, four, three, two, one, and back for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Lace the fingers behind the back. Pull the fingers back, send the chest forward. Now see if you can bring those fingertips down to the ground and look up. And now pull yourself forward, reach the hands up. It's okay if the head doesn't come down. Pull the shoulders away. And all the way down, beautiful. Coming into teeth, or we're not taking back child's pose. So, uh, actually kind of a different child's pose first. We're gonna do a wide leg child's pose. So knees are at the wide air edges of the mat, big toes are together, lower down. Now walk those fingertips forward. Okay, now here's where we do something different than what we normally do. Flip the palms up. So you're feeling an external rotation in the shoulder blades. Okay. So we're gonna go like this and then we're gonna put them down we're going to do that 10 times, okay? So, palms up, palms down, palms up, palms down, palms up, down, up, down, up, down. Five more. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Last two, and one. Beautiful. Now pull yourself back to your tabletop, bring those knees together, tuck the toes under, send the seat back. Cupcake and those fingernails, those fingertips, I guess, not, not your nails. And lower down, bringing the head down if you can. And gaze comes forward, look at your thumbs, sink your chin, pull yourself all the way through. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders, lift up, down, up, down, up, down, stay down. Okay, now this is a tricky one. I'm gonna face this way so you guys can, it's not tricky, but it's another shoulder warm up. I want you guys to bring your shoulder, your hands up to the side. All right, palms come up, right? Now, you're gonna lift your chin, like you're gonna lift your chest a little bit, but you're actually gonna keep your chin down. Now, the reason why I want you to bring your chin down is because I want you to think of trying to get your neck as flat in line with your spine as you can. All right, so that's the goal here, is to like really elongate the spine from the base of the spine all the way up to the crown of the head, okay? So we come down, I'm telling you that now because once my head is there, it might be harder to hear. So, thumbs are up, chest is lifted, chin is tucked, create a length in the spine, and then we're gonna lower or raise the thumbs up, and down, and we're gonna do that 10 times. Ready? So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the hands high, bring them back behind you, lace the fingers, pull and lift the chest up. And hold for five, four, three, two, one, lower all the way down, release the hand. Send the right arm out to the side, right ear comes down, spatula on the right side, bring that left leg back and over. Switching sides, come back to neutral, left arm out, left ear down, right foot comes back. And all the way back in, bring the hands to the chest, Lift up to cobra if you're comfortable with cobra. If not, come back into seal. I know it's a little early, your back might not be warmed up. You can even choose to do seal if you want. So it's kind of like a mix of sphinx and cobra. Wherever you're at, just gaze is up. Move the chest forward, inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Come into tabletop. Pop the right leg out to the side. Left foot comes back, right arm comes up. Circles forward, one, two, three. Circles back, one, two, three. Beautiful, hold it all the way up. 
Now see, you can stay here if, you, if you're only comfortable here and you're working on your balance, or you can take that bottom leg, bring it back. See if you can come into your side plank. Good, now if your leg is down, if you're choosing the leg down variation, that's fine, but we're all going to lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, and lower. Now all of us are gonna bring that foot back down. We're gonna lift and bring it forward and back, and forward, and back, and forward. Step it all the way through. Turn yourself into a low lunge on the left side. Lean forward here, back, forward, back, forward, straighten out, come up, twist to the left. Inhale, exhale, Inhale, exhale, take an inhale, exhale, back toes are tucked, lift up. Good. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Stay high on a twist, come forward to chair. Lift all the way up, baby back bend, exhale all the way down. Halfway lift, forward fold. Step the right leg back, step the left leg back, down dog. First down dog, go ahead and pedal out the feet. Maybe lift the heels high and lower, lift high and lower. Walk your feet in a little bit more and bend the knees if you need to. All right, coming down onto forearms and then lift up. So you can do it at the same time, lower, Lift, lower, lift, two more, lower, lift, lower, stay low, look forward, lower the knees, slide down onto the chest, good. Hands come to the chest, lift up to your cobra. And come into tabletop. Opposite side. I'm going to flip so you guys can see the opposite side. I was going to keep going and then I realized that there was no way I was going to remember this if I kept going. Left <laughs> back, right foot up. Come into your side plank, your modified side plank. Circles forward. One, two, three. And back. One, two, three. Up. Now if you want to stay here, go ahead and stay here. Or for the challenge, bring that foot back. Good. Now we lift. Lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, all the way back down. So we're all in side plank. We lift and bring it forward, back, forward, back, forward, all the way to low lunge. Good. Lean it back, forward, back, forward, back. Forward, twist. Good, take a couple breaths here. Really work on that twist, pushing the hands together, opening up the chest, tuck your back toes, get ready to lift. Ready and lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, stay high, untuck yourself, chair pose. All the way up, come into a and let's do a Tadasana, right? So you're in your Tadasana, your standing pose. Hands come back behind. Lace those fingers. Pull the fingers back. Pull yourself into a back bend. And all the way up. And then all the way into a forward fold. All the way up. And then bring your hands over to your left side. Ear comes over to the right. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, let's do one more inhale, exhale, pull it down and over to the other side, inhale, exhale, stretching out the neck, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, beautiful, come to the top of the mat, inhale, your arms around and up, exhale, swan or forward fold, inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. 
Bring the right leg back, bring the left leg back, hold your plank. Okay, now actually walk your hands a little bit more in front of you, right? Because we want to lower so that our elbows are underneath our shoulders. So now you're going to forearm plank. So lower the butt. And now we're going to try to lift and lower five times. But try to do it at the same time. So not commandos, regular lifts and lowers. Ready? Lift, lower for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Walk the hands in, down dog. Now in your down dog, I want you to come up on your fingertips, taking the pressure off the wrist, because that was a lot on the wrist. Lower the knees down. Walk the hands back. Bring the hands together, a little bit of wrist care. That was hard. I didn't think it was going to be that hard. I mean, I knew it was going to be hard, but I didn't think it was going to be that hard. <laughs> and roller coaster. You guys saw, I was like, not doing it. So kudos to anyone that did that whole thing. That was hard. Shake it out. And flap up and down. Today I taught, I taught a story time this morning and we learned the sign language for babe. It's not like totally relevant, but it's like kind of a hand swipe. So we're going to do it. Ready? So you take your hands together and you bring it towards your face like a bee and then you swat it. So you're going to do it the last hand, bring it towards and swat. Okay, that was it. I just figured that was nice. Like, never mind. Alright, <laughs> massage the wrist. It seemed like a better idea in my head until I did it with you guys, and then I was like, that's not wrist warm up at all. Alright. <laughs> Coming back down onto, let's do tabletop actually here. Bring your right foot back and lift it and lower, lift, lower, lift. Keep it high. Now tuck your left toes under and lift up. So you're in a plank now, right? Down dog, plank, down dog, plank. Down dog. Bend the left knee, straighten. Bend the left knee, straighten. Bend the left knee, straighten. Come back to plank. Keep your right foot up. Lower all the way down. Lower it down. Bring your hands out in front of you. And lift up. You want to lift so that your lower ribs are still on the mat, but you're still engaging the back. That's the point of this. So, try not to wobble to each side. Right arm up. Down, left arm up, down, right arm up, down, left arm up, down. Now, right leg up, down, left leg up, down, right leg up, down, left leg up, down. You might need to adjust and walk a little bit further if that was hard to lift your legs. But keeping yourself high, lift the right for five, four, three, two, one, keep it low, lift the back for five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Come back to tabletop. You'll get a child's pose in a minute. Left leg back. Lift, lower, center. I'm so sorry, I just realized you're outside. You must be dying right now. Drink water. Lift, lower, lift, lower. I lost count. Lift, touch your back toes under. Down dog. And I forget if we came forward, right? We came forward, back, forward, back, forward one more time, back. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Keep that foot up high, pull forward and lower all the way down. Hands at your sides, lift to cobra. Woo! And lower it down, tuck the toes under, child's pose. Take a moment here, breathe. Get some water. It's a really hot day, even if you have the AC on, your place is probably still hot. Stay hydrated. All right, pull yourself forward. Tuck your toes under. And lift up. Down dog. Baby step the feet all the way up to the top of the mat. Hang and forward fold. 
Maybe spend one knee, spend the other knee. Good, just kind of pulling it up. What's the word I'm looking for here? Pedaling it out. Bend the knees slightly. Inhale, the arms come around and up. Down to the heart. Okay, the next sequence we're gonna move through, we're gonna move through in our evil arms. So, just to make sure that we actually get them, because sometimes it's a little funky to get them, right? So arms out to the side. And then you can bring your right arm across your body. Left arm comes underneath, and you slide so that your elbow is in your elbow crease. Yeah. Then the both hands come up. Okay, now here is where there's multiple options, right? So if you're working on your flexibility, and this is where you are, this is where you can be. Another option is to go shoulder to shoulder, right? If that's where you are, shoulder to shoulder. Or... You can just go palm, back of the hand, to palm of the hand. It's another option. Okay, last option is palm to palm. Okay, everyone got that? Yeah? All right. Those are your options. Um, and then I usually, I think, I have to relook this up, but I'm pretty sure that your lead leg is the one from the arm that's on top. Don't quote me on that. I have to look that up and I'll let you know. But I'm pretty sure lead leg is the arm on top. Okay, we all got our arms? Good. So, standing to the top of the mat. Right arm comes across, left arm sweeps up. Any option of evil arms you want. I've been lately really liking lacing my fingers too because it feels like I get more pull. So if you want to try that, try that as well. This is not a yoga pose. This just has felt really good in my body, which is yoga. All right, pulling your hands apart, or pulling your arms away from your face. Inhale all the way up, baby back bend here. Inhale, exhale, bring it all the way down. Inhale, bend the legs, come to your flat back. Step the left leg back, high lunge. Good. Take your high lunge to the next level by bringing your back foot down. Warrior one. Inhale in your warrior one. Exhale, come back. Back to warrior one. Step the right foot a little bit more to the right side of the mat. Exhale, lower down. Humble warrior. Inhale all the way up. Step your back foot in a little bit closer, straighten your front leg, come into your triangle pose. So reach those arms forward here, really stretching. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, bend in your front leg, back foot comes forward, eagle arms, chair pose. Straight all the way up, keep your eagle arms, Lift your heels, lower for five, four, three, two, one. Release the arms. Take a minute on that. I know, it's a lot on the arms, right? Sometimes you can do that though. Swing your arms forward, swing your arms back. And now we're gonna go a little bit slower, so take one arm, bring it all the way forward and back. Forward back, forward. Now switch directions. Beautiful. Another arm come forward for one, two, three, and back for one, two, three. All right, ready for the other side? Eagle arms on the other side. So left arm across and up. Got your eagle arms. Any variation you like. Inhale, the arms come all the way up and we go back. And then we lower all the way forward. Coming into your half back, almost like a chair. I guess it's a mix of both. We step the right leg back. We rise up, high lunge. Take a minute here, take a breath. Step your back heel down, warrior one. Inhale in your warrior one. Exhale into a back bend, warrior one. And come back, slide your left foot over to the left side a little bit more. Inhale, exhale into 
Humble Warrior, bringing the left elbow inside the left knee. Seeing how low you can get here. Maybe your forearms come down, maybe they don't. Inhale all the way up, keep a bend in that front leg, step the back foot forward a little bit, now straighten it, inhale, exhale, flat back. Reaching the arms forward, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, bend in your front leg, bring the back foot forward, chair pose. Bring the back straight, and all the way up. Release. How's that feel? Good? Awful? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Awesome. Right on time. Inhale your arms around and up. Exhale the hands come all the way down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we come into chair. Exhale, we're going to reach our right foot up, step it back, high lunge. Lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Bring your hands back, lace your fingers, and warrior three. Now hold for five, four, three, two, one, and down. Okay, we're going to do that three more times. You ready? Inhale and lift for five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Last one. You ready? Lift for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the foot all the way forward. Release the hands. Release the Inhale the arms up. Exhale, hang in your forward fold. Get water if you need water. Just take a breath. Allow the heart rate to slow back down before we move to the other side. All right, half lift. Kind of turns into chair. Left foot comes up, step it back, high lunge. Woo! And lower for three, two, one. And up, lace the hands, opposite thumb on top, hang forward, lift. For five, four, three, two, one. And lower. Sorry, it's like you're having hot yoga right now. Sweating out all the detoxing, I guess. Not that you have to detox. I don't know. Just sweating out all the, the gross stuff. Alright. And <laughs> lift up. For five. Ah, four. Three. Two. One. And down. Last one. See, that's why you guys have to say stuff so then I know who's here and can talk. So I was the only one that I know is here. That's why I... Alright, right? <laughs> last one. For five. Four. Three. Two, one, oh, let me bring it all the way through, try not to fall over like I just did, and down, Whew. inhale your arms up, exhale your arms down, hang in your forward fold, inhale half lift, exhale forward fold, set the right leg back, set the left leg back, bring the knees down, cross the legs, sit back, Sending forward. Coming down onto your left side. Take that right foot, step it forward. Lift the back leg, lower it, lift the back leg, lower it, lift the back leg, lower it, lift the back leg, lower it. Bring both feet together, slide them up, and now you're going to lift your knee, and lower, lift your knee, and lower, lift your knee, and lower, lift your knee, and lower. Knee to knee, toe to toe, knee to knee. Toe to toe, knee to knee, toe to toe. Bring this right foot, my right foot's on top, step it over your left, sliding into cow face. Now, if cow face is not accessible to you, take that bottom leg and just stretch it out straight. And work on bringing that knee down. 
If it is, perfect. Hang here, just for a few breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And inhale and exhale, okay. Now you're gonna bring your knees forward, lift up. So you're gonna crisscross. Now this might be really, really intense for some people if this is the case. Just stay here, allow your hips to open up from here. Right leg is in front, right arm is in front, uh, eagle arms. Okay, now if you do wanna try it, we reach up and back. And you might be feeling intense pain in the side, and if you feel pain, what? Get out of it. If you feel stretched, that's one thing. If you feel pain, you get out of it immediately. And we come all the way down. Lower with control. Don't lower like a crazy person. And send the right body down. Step that left leg in front. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Both knees forward. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. I forget if we did like four. I don't know what we did on the other side. Knee to knee, toe to toe, knee to knee, toe to toe. Knee to knee, toe to toe. Step it forward. Cow face on the other side. I wasn't as elegant on this side. This hip is a lot tighter. It wasn't as fluid. There was more wiggly on this side. It also feels a lot tighter. Taking a couple breaths here. Now to help you get up, you can obviously bring your hands down. Move forward so that the knees come down. Then lift yourself up. Check your hips. So the idea here is that the hips are straight. Now it's really hard, right? Like my, when my left leg is in front, my right hip is trailing back. See if you can bring that right hip forward. Left leg is in front, left hand is on top, reach up. And now as you're reaching up, you want it to come from this part of your body, the chest, not the lower back. So I really want you guys to imagine lifting like your hand is on a string. So your hand is lifting and it's pulling your arms, pulling the ribs, so moving the ribs apart, away from the hips. Like you're trying to create space. Like we do when we do that, that's what you're doing every time you do a back bend. Space first and lower all the way down with control. Both feet forward, windshield wiper the legs. And just because I don't think we've done it in a while, three rock ups all the way to stand. I don't know, maybe we have. So one, two, Three, remember, go hips distance apart. And stand, beautiful. Coming to the center of your mat. Reach your toes up and create space in between your toes. Uh, like you're getting your pedicure and they're, and they're putting the towels in between your toes. And then lower. Reach up, create space. And then as you lower, try to keep that space. One more time, lift up, create space, and lower. Beautiful. Right leg comes up, we circle in for one two, whoa, three, and we circle back for one, two, three. Bring that foot into your tree pose. Take a moment in tree pose, and then we're going to up the ante. Okay, so if you guys are still wobbly, if you, not still, if you are wobbly in tree pose, just work on your balance here. This is a tough balance pose if you are in your beginning of your balance journey. This is not easy. So if you're here, just work on here. If you are here, comfortably here. Remember, we don't have our foot on the knee. We have it below the knee or above the knee. We're going to try to do, and this is hard, so I'm going to be super wobbly too with this. We're going to try to do heel lifts on the left. Ready? So grab your hips. It's easier if it's on your hips. And lift, lower. We're going to try to do five. So lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Nice. Now bring that foot onto the knee. Everyone can meet us here. Awkward chair. Good. 
Good, take that right leg, step it out to the side and lower, over to the left, ninja squat. Good, oh, when you're on the right, you can come all the way up with the left foot, circles in for one, two, three, and back, one, two, three, and in. Stay out of flat. Ah. Okay, same thing on this side. You are not on the knee, so you're either below the knee or above the knee. Do not be on the knee. Just don't. All right, if you're here and you're working on being here, chill. If you're here and you're ready to try it five times, ready? Hands to your hips. For five, four, three, whoa, two, one, and down. Yeah, good job, guys. And step it out. And over. And back. And forth. And back. And to center. So you can spread your legs out a little bit wider. Bring your hands in line with your toes. Work anything down that you want. So anywhere you are in your practice, maybe you are forearms down. Maybe you are head down. I'm not head down. Maybe your elbows down. I'm sort of elbows down. Or maybe you're just hands down. Or maybe you want to try all that just for fun. Do whatever feels good. Take a moment to play here. Maybe you want to go side to side. Investigate what is calling to you for a second. Maybe some twists. Maybe a headstand if that's in your practice. All right, now what I want you to do is bring your knees down. You guys know it's coming. All right, step your right knee out, step your left knee out. Bring your feet out. Okay, now see where you feel, because maybe you are here and you're like, that's it, that's as far as I'm going. The goal is to keep your knees in line with your hips. So if your knees are in line with your hips, and here is where you need to live today, it's still a really deep stretch. If you do have more hip flexibility and you want to go next level, you guys know. You come down. So it's the same thing, right? You're still trying to keep your hips in line with your uh, knees. So you don't want to like go all the way back and you don't want to go all the way forward. You don't want to dip your back. You just kind of want to lower flat down. And if you can go flat down, go flat down. This, this is as far as I can go and still like be able to get out of it. <laughs> and you know, every time I do this, I try to come up with an easier way to get out of it. It's like super hard to get out of. And I think I, I think I was, I think I have one that's like easy. Cause even coming all the way forward is kind of easy, I guess. Yeah, coming forward's easy. But what we're gonna do is bring your knees together, like bring your toes together and start to walk yourself back. And then you're in, your, you're in a child's pose. And then you can walk all the way out. Yeah, right? Okay, bring your knees together, tuck your toes under. Hands come to hips, lift your knees. And lower, lift your knees. And lower, lift your knees. And lower, two more, lift your knees. And lower, lift your knees. And this time stay high on your, on your tippy toes and come all the way up. Lower all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. Hold it here, now. Step your right leg out and back in. Try to do it without your hands. Left leg out, low, and back in. Just one more time each way. Right leg out and back in. 
Left leg out. Ah. Second, I got cocky. I thought I was good with it. Heels down all the way up. Okay, you guys ready for the thing? I know, you're like, what? That wasn't the thing? But, we're doing it. Okay. It's not that hard. It's just a little, it's going to be a longish sequence. But I guarantee you guys can all do it. Alright. Inhale the arms around and up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step the right leg back. Step the left leg back. Down dog. Bring the right leg up and high. Step the right leg in between the hands. Inhale the hands to prayer in front of the heart. Come forward into your warrior three. Bring your warrior three into tree pose. Now once you're in tree pose, left leg is on top, left arm comes up. Eagle arms. Bring your knee or your ankle to your knee. Slide down into awkward chair. And if you have eagle in your practice, come into your eagle pose. Come back to your tree pose. Come back to your warrior three. Whoa. Release the hands down. Step the foot back. Slide the right leg all the way back up. Come forward down and up. See? Well, not hard. You guys all did it. And down. Down dog. Ready for the left side? This is it. We just got left side and then we, and then we do cool down. Left leg up and high. Left leg comes in. Inhale up to high lunge. Hands come to prayer. Warrior three. All the way up to tree. You can bring your foot in if you want. Right leg, right arm, eagle arms. Foot to knee, awkward chair. And then if it's in your practice eagle, back to, to tree pose, sorry. Send it back to high lunge. Arms come down. Left leg all the way up. Pull it forward and down. And cobra. Ta da! You guys did it. And down. Tuck the toes under. Send the seat back. Come into down dog. Right leg up and high. Right foot pulled in. And lower down. Now, you guys should be nice and loosey-goosey. So, we're going to walk through two pigeon variations. Now, the first one. In both cases, I suggest that you bring that front foot in a little bit closer to the hip. So you're less concerned with it being a wide pigeon and more concerned with the front leg being able to provide you with some balance help. Okay? So, back foot comes up. Pull the back foot in. I just realized we didn't do too much quad stuff, but that's okay. You should be warm. So you can bring it in. Okay, so you, your goal here is you can just start to pull it in. Right? That's where you can be. If you can easily get it into the crook, get it into the crook. Reach the right arm up into your mermaid bind. Good. Now bring that right hand back down. Take the foot. Palms down grip. So you're on the outside of the left foot. Your palm is facing down. You take your right hand and you bring it back. And maybe you lace your fingers and you pull. And now if you want to walk your hands towards the top of the foot to practice what that feeling of bound arms feels like, go for it. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Hands come down, foot comes down. Tuck the back toe under, send it back. 
doing it on the left side. I'm gonna flip so you guys can see. Bring the leg up, bring the leg through, slide the right leg back. So same thing, readjust yourself. Remember to bring that foot in closer because when we do certain variations of pigeon, the idea is to also have it be like balance for you, right? So of course we know, you know, full pigeon, that leg is supposed to be as straight as possible. And maybe you get to that point in your practice where you can do all types of variations with the leg there. But if your hips are still tight, too tight for that, you don't have the full variation easily in your practice. I don't, it's easier for me to pull it in. So it becomes less about struggling with that hip opener and more about just having some fun in the pose, right? So we want that foot to be there kind of like as a balance. Back foot comes up and your first thing is to just tug it in. Tug it in, tug it in. Maybe you're on the outside, tug it in, tug it in. Maybe you're all the way on the top and you can kind of even do that flip grip, you know, and you can pull it in. Maybe you're all about that. I had to lift my butt pretty dramatically in order to do that, but maybe you can. Yeah. And then we bring it into the crook any way we have to. As you saw, I need to use my other hand. No shame. You have both hands for a reason. You can use them. And we bind, if possible. If this is not a comfortable bind for you, go back to the first pose. No reason to hurt yourself. Especially this late in the game. Just enjoy. Alright, now that that arm is down, or bring the left arm back down, now that that arm is down, we're going to take our right foot and our right hand, palm or thumb facing down, and now you do kind of have to pivot so you're more facing the front of the mat. Left foot comes back, reach the hand, Woo -hoo -hoo. see if you can lace the hands. Take a few breaths here, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and release. And now let's bring both feet forward. Max distance apart, go side to side. Good, taking that right leg, bringing it onto the knee. I'm gonna turn sideways, actually that was done for me to be forward. And lower it down. Three pigeon press bridges. Okay, so you're gonna leave your foot. That sounds like way crazier than it is. Really, it's just three relatively fast bridges because we're pressing the hips up and our foot is in pigeon. So you're just gonna do three, lower down, two, lower down, one, stay down, bring the left leg in. Hand comes to the right leg, lower the left leg down, hug the right knee in, slide the right knee out a little bit, and then bring it across a little bit, just as a little counter stretch, not a super deep stretch. Send the foot out, reach the hands above the head, reach the fingertips towards the ears, up towards the ceiling, take an inhale, exhale, come all the way up, slide the feet back, windshield. And then we bring the left leg onto the right knee, and we windshield wiper again. And we lower it down. Three presses on this side. And ready? Four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down, bring that left knee in. And bring your hands over to the left leg, send the right leg out, open it up a little bit on the right, 
and then slide it over to the left a little bit, or the right, sorry, the left and then the right. Oof, that was bad. I was like way off. Good. And hug both knees in, circles out, circles in. Happy baby. Okay, now bring your feet together. Take that right leg, slide it over your left leg. So you're kind of almost in a pigeon or um, an eagle, but you're not, or you're not actually two, is take your left hand to your right foot, right hand to the left foot, left hand to the right foot, right hand to the left foot, and pull. And release left leg on top right hand to left foot left hand to right foot and pull it's crazy the inconsistencies you can feel when you do this pose it's a totally different feeling up in the air than it is on the mat Alright, now keeping that foot there, this is only an option. We're going to do a twist, so you can do a twist any way that feels good to you. But if you want to, you kind of take that, that eagle leg, bring it down to the ground. So I have my left leg on top, so I'm going to bump my hips to the left, the knees go over to the right, I think. Yeah. Maybe? Hold on, let me try the other side. Oh, uh, maybe that side. Okay, bump your hips, left foot in front, bump your hips to the right, and then allow them to fall over to the left. My bad. It's confusing when things are all twisted up. If that did not happen for you, you didn't want to do that, just bring both soles of the feet down and allow your hips to fall over, or bring your hips to the right side of the mat and allow your knees to fall to the left. We all come to center, switch the cross, bring your hips now over to the left, and knees go down to the right. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be like. If you weren't doing the eagle legs, you just go ahead and bump your hips over to the left and allow your knees to fall to the right. And uncross those legs, send the feet out to the corner edges of the mat. If you have space and you want to take up more space, take up more space. You are not confined to your mat when you are in your own home. Bringing your hands down to your sides, do some final movements, some twisting here, some flexing and pointing and twirling and whatever else you want to do in your body before bringing your hands down to the ground, palms facing up. Moving through your three-part breath twice, taking a deep inhale in through the nose, filling the belly, keep sipping in, bring it into the lungs, keep sipping in until you can't take any more breath in and then retain at the top. Exhale the breath out fully. One more time, we fill the belly up, we fill the lungs up. We fill the entire body up until we can't take any more air in, and then we hold that breath. Release the breath, relax the body. Allowing yourself to move into whatever final pose is most comfortable for your relaxation. And allow yourself to drift. These next few moments are for you. They are your savasana to soak up all of the benefits of the practice.
Slowly and in your own time, you can start to wake the body up, wiggling your fingers, and wiggling your toes, reaching your feet out along the mat, reaching your arms up along the mat, and stretch the entire body out. And then hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a final hug here before rolling on to your favorite side, whatever side that might be. Using the forearm of that side as a pillow for your head and then taking your opposite arm and letting it drape down in front of you. Use that hand that's on the ground to push you up to a seated position in front of the mat. Coming into the same pose that you started class. Bring your hands onto your knees. Take an inhale. Exhale, releasing the breath. Bringing your hands to Anjali Mudra, prayer position in front of the heart. Taking a breath here. Exhale, bowing your mudra, bowing down to your mudra, bowing to yourself. Bowing to yourself for always showing up, for always trying, for always pushing through and always committing to class. I'm so grateful for all of you for always attending, even in this new virtual realm that we are in. The light within me bows to divine light in each one of you. Namaste. Thank you guys. Um, I hope that was a, oh, Monica, sorry, I didn't even see this. And Janae, see, that's the only thing that's like super, super bummer about like the Facebook using it on my laptop is I don't see, well, and also the fact that I just have bad eyesight is I don't see the comments as they go up. Um, Monica, I am actually, <laughs> so I, um, so my dog, Ollie, is my mom's dog, which is in the upstairs. I live in a two family house and my mom is upstairs with Ollie and I'm downstairs. Um, and Ollie doesn't really like the stairs, but Maybe I'll let him come in next time for next yoga. If you guys miss him, we can have like a, we can have Ollie, guest appearance by Ollie. Um, but that's where he is. He's actually upstairs. So he's like still, he's in the house. He's just on the second floor. Uh, oh, okay. So Janae, good question. So why you're not supposed to be on your knee in tree pose is the way that your, your heel presses into the knee can actually over time push the knee out of alignment and you can do serious strain to your knee. So I know that we always like kind of love that pose because it's almost like, here, let me move. I don't know if you can see it. Like it's almost like, um, like more accessible because it almost serves like a shelf. But in reality, you're actually pushing out the, the uh, pressure of your knee or the pressure of your heel on your knee bends the knee out. So that's why you don't want to be there. Um, because just over time, I mean, like the chances of you doing it one go, if you slide there, or like what I just did to show you, is not gonna do much damage, but if you're consistently pushing on that space, you will push your knee out of alignment. You will. Like it, it's just, it's just not a safe, because our knees, our knees are so important, and they're also like, as tough as our body is, it's just like any other part of our body, right? Like it's so easy to hurt at the same time. Um, and, and we need our knees so badly <laughs> that it's just, it's just not even worth like the risk of potentially doing some serious damage there. And the ligaments in there are super, you know, tiny and important. And yeah, so, you, so that's the reason why. Looks like a nice shelf, but in reality, the pressure of the heel on that knee will push the knee out of alignment. Um, oh, Monica, thank you. You know, another really weird note, Monica, about that, like to say that my voice is calm, I used to have such weird anxiety about my voice because my family tells me I have a really shrill voice. Maybe not so much anymore, but like when I was younger, they used to like, like literally make, like would go like this, and like cringe if I talked because they said my voice was so shrill. So maybe over time, like I intentionally deepened it. I, I have no idea. Like it's inten it's unintentional now, but who knows? Who knows what kind of family emotional damage does, right? So may maybe I like intentionally deepened my voice over the year. I, I don't know, but I appreciate you saying that because I still have voice anxiety. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, yay. It's 
that's so nice. <laughs> I know, right? Is that crazy? Okay, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I mean, I guess we're supposed to, like, we are trying to do Zoom every other week, but you guys text me. If you really hate the idea of Zoom and you just want it here, just tell me. I will keep it here. Um, so you guys let me know, because I can, I can do both. I really wanted to make it whatever is best for you guys. So shoot me a text or a message and tell me if you would just prefer it in this platform, and we'll just stay here. Um, but you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Mm -hmm. Monica, I'm so glad you were able to make class. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. We'll see you next time.